Thank you very much. I'm it was an happy. amazing lecture. Uh, oh. Everyone should go and see your lecture. I only have a couple of questions that oh. came to my mind while I was listening to you. You did a lot of magic uh, uh, with your body, with your movement. So you put a lot of attitude into what you do. Can you maybe talk a little bit more about how important it is to uh, do magic with your body? Well, in fact, I think I am not the perfect magician to talk about that because for me it's very difficult to have control about my body. I am the kind of magician that, uh, not the magician, the kind of people that I can dance, I can work very <laughs> skilly. My, 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 my domain of my body is not very good. But the thing is, of course, in magic is very important because you communicate a lot of things, but also you focus. No? In yes. what they are the important things. For instance, if I put my feet like this, and when I do separagon, that is a technique that I yes. explained it in the lecture, and I do it like this, and the secret is doing like in a discard pile, my body and the feet is in front of what apparently from the, for the audience must be important. And wow. I am doing the secret move when my oh, body suggests great. this is not important. No? And these kind of things, no? of course, a slidini technique for strong moments, uh, relaxed moments. I try to apply a lot of things, but not think too much about this, because what happened to me is, if I rehearsal a move too much, I feel people feel that it's rehearsal. You know, yes. it's not natural. So what I try is always look for my natural movements on things, and then I put the techniques there. For instance, when I did Separagon that I am doing uh, passing cars, I saw that I did this move for passing cars by nature, no? Or uh, I remember that uh, as Arturo de Ascanio said that always it's very important how to cover the... Can I talk about techniques? This is uh, YouTube, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can. Okay. Uh, if, if, it's too, if it's too... too if much, you are not, cut if, it out. If you are not a magician, I will tell you that magicians, we palm cards. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> and then Ascanio, the, he said, the master of Spain, that you need to find a way to cover uh, the, 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 to naturalize the position of the hand. And he was talking with a friend. Mm -hmm. And the friend said, Oh, Arturo, the problem is for me it's not natural like this. He was birth like this. Yes. And he says, And for me it's very difficult because I never find a natural way to cover. The, the palm car and then Arturo said, okay, what, what happened if you do like this? And, oh, and then you do very natural because it's your gesture before to be uh, a slave. No? So I think this is a clever way to okay. work with your, mobi, with your body and your... Gesture. So the way would be to um, look at yourself, find your own mannerism and try to... This is them my way and I think it's a yes. good way. But yes, perhaps yes. there are other ways like actors Mm. or dancers that did train how to move and but for me it don't work so much like this mm. yes. uh, then i have another question for you uh, i also try to employ it in my magic and i find it difficult uh, to stop being very expressive at the moment of magic if i move a lot and i talk a lot and i'm being very expressive it's difficult for me sometimes at the moment of when the car changes oh, yeah. to be very calm do you find it difficult sometimes no but but i think i i understand you why it's difficult no but i think the the moment that you need in your expression is to understand that the magical effect the moment the climax of the magical effect is a way to express yourself mm -hmm. is also how you express because sometimes if your uh, inner world is rich and you have some point. Sometimes you see some magicians that only very, uh, not big movement and very concentrated, but very focused in the car. He do like this and the car changes and he touch and he hits you because he's way. For instance, René Lavand. René Lavand was a magician that when he arrived to the climax, he don't move so much. He very uh, slowly, he take, he do very slow, but he put his, his soul, no? so the focus, no? it's like the inner view of the pianist. No? Yes. A musician can go to a concert and play the rock guitar and move a lot, but some pianists, you know, that they go to the concert and in the silence, it's like they don't look to the audience, they look itself and they play, and it works from some artists. I know a lot of magicians now from 
Korea, from Japan, from Asia, that they do this style, Ju Ho Jin, no? when yes. he performs his eyes, is very inner, and also you express a lot. So perhaps the thing is, you must be convinced that you are expressing yourself too when the card changes. In fact, it's the moment a magician more must be expressing his so, And you need to truly believe that the magical moment is happening. Of course, of course. Do you know what happened? I don't know if you uh, started in magic uh, knowing a lot of magic. Uh, something, this YouTube and the magic uh, lectures that you can download and the, the schools that you can learn magic is very good because you learn a lot and you have a lot of information. But I, 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 I don't want to look like an old guy saying, <laughs> my times are better. I, I, I don't agree that my times are better. But something was better, that I was a lay people and you see a trick of car, uh, any, any car magic trick or any car trick or any trick of any style, style. And perhaps for three, four years, you have no idea what is the method. And then, you feel inside how powerful it is. When I say triumph first time, it was like, what? And I have no idea what is the method for years, until some years later, Juan Tamari showed me how the triumph works. Now, there is some people that go to a magic school. Today, we are going to study triumph. They, they don't know what triumph is. The teacher do a triumph, they see, they like, and immediately they explain. And perhaps they don't uh, feel so much the power of that moment. And I think we need to feel it. Because if we don't feel, how we make feel to the audience? No? So for me, if I, was, uh, if I was able to go back in time, and I will have a lot of money, and I can spend the money to do what I can do, whatever I can do to learn magic at my best, the first thing I will do is not going to any school, not going to any lecture, go to see shows, go to see magic shows with no explanation for one year, two years or three years, only see the best and enjoy and feel and now load with that feeling, now you start to learn how to do it and how to do it well. This is what I think is. No, that's what, actually, what is, is an ideal, no? That is actually uh, something a lot of parents are doing. If their child is interested in magic, they buy them, him a magic kit instead of taking him to a magic show. To a magic show, yeah, yeah. Yes. I think that, that, that because this is like uh, when you do, with, with, I explain this in the autopsia, when, in, the, in the lecture, it's like autopsia, no? You have a body and you open and you analyze, but of course you need the body is dead. And I think with magic, something happened like this, no? It's like some tricks, they are good when they are alive and when you see a magician doing life, no? And if you take only the methods and the analysis, uh, perhaps you don't feel the same. Yes. Juan Tamariz is your teacher? Oh, he's so, my uh, teacher, he's my master, he's my friend, he's my <laughs> little my father in some kind of way. Yes, and uh, Juan Tamariz is so important and a lot of people in Germany love him. Um, what would be like the greatest tip you ever became from Juan Tamariz? Oof. If there is one, oh, I know oh, it, oh, it oh, was oh, oh, It's very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Yes. Juan and me, we are a lot of things in common, especially we are uh, the hair. No? <laughs> but, but, uh, so, can, can I join the club? <laughs> yeah, can I join. <laughs> Juan and me. My brother, you can see, he's my brother. Okay. Uh, but with Juan, I learned a lot of things. And it was so, he was very important for me, not only as a magician. Because you say he's your teacher. I think most of my, more than my teacher, he's my friend. And when a friend wants to show you, on, he's a real master because he chooses you and he shows you some things in magic, but also he tells about art, he tells about life, and at the end, it's important in your life. And in your life, you make some decisions or some advices that are very good. And I remember one especially that in a moment of my life when I was learning and starting in professionalism, I start to be a little stressful no? mm -hmm. because uh, other of the magicians of my own age, mm -hmm. they started very soon to be professionals, to okay. work. Yeah. 
yes. and then they do wonderful tricks that they learn to do. But I was so stupid, or I was so in the fun part of magic that I didn't want to do to do the tricks that everybody did. I was doing ah, this is a very clever idea with Gilbert Principal is a mathematic, <laughs> and the trick is, was very bad. It was not terrible. Not commercial. But I was completely insisting to do this to the audience because I wanted to do my magic and the audience so so. And then and I have a partner, a friend that is Iñaki Tabaleta, an Argentinian magician that we work uh, together for, for a lot of years. And he was super young and super good at the criteria, was very good and also very skillful. And in a moment when I start, I said, Juan, you know what happened? Now I am a little worried about if my magic is good, is it not good? If I, what can, how can I do it? If the spectator will like it, not like it? And it never happened to you? And Juan think a little and tell me, yeah, now that you mention this, I think it happened to me like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought, I don't care. I, <laughs> the only important thing in magic is you enjoy. Because if you are enjoying, is when the audience enjoy too. And then I relax completely. And from that day, I am only worried when I do magic in enjoying myself when I do oh, So. Yes, that's the best advice. The best advice. Yes. Yeah. Okay, then I want you to tell us one last thing about your new DVD because it is amazing. It's just mind-boggling, even for oh, me. I'm, oh, and what a surprise! What we have it here? It's like Incidentally, not planned. It's here already. This is the instant demolition deck. It's part of uh, some DVDs that I did now uh, with uh, Joshua J and Andy Gladwin yes. with Vanishing Ink about things related with the stacks and memorizers because I love that. Yes. I think, yes, uh, the important thing is, uh, which people can take away without revealing anything, you can do almost all of the famous, prominent effects with a memorized deck. Memorized deck with very easy... With very little work. The name instant in instant is two minutes. Instant, if you want to learn to use it and you never memorize the deck, etc. I don't understand why some people don't do it, but okay. Mm. So you can do it very easy and very fast, but also it's instant because you take a borrowed deck and in one minute you are ready to do everything. So it's beautiful. Really cool. Thank you very much for uh, all, you, all of the things you did for the magic all community. And thank you very much, I'm very happy, I'm very happy. Thank you so much for this. Thank, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you people. Bye guys. Happy to be here. Thank you.